If you've ever watched the news, you might be wondering what stocks are. In case you didn't know, they're an essential part of business and retirement. For starters, investing, which is a word that is used interchangeably with stock, is when you buy an asset hoping it will grow in value. For example, if you buy a Pokemon card because you think it will be worth more in two years, that is investing. Stocks, however, are buying a piece of a company. When you buy a stock, when you buy stock of a company, you become a shareholder as you now own a share of the company. This means that you can vote to decide what the company should do with its money, and you become entitled to a certain amount of the profit. There are many investment companies that use this to make money. You might have heard of Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Fidelity. These companies buy shares of, com of other companies to make money, and, and when those other companies make money, they make money. While this is a great way to let your money grow, be aware that there are no guarantees when it comes to stocks. Many people lose their money while trading stocks since the value of a stock can decrease, but there is a way to be safer investing. In 1976, a prominent investor named John Bogle invented something called an index fund. Essentially what it was, was a big grouping of many stocks in different areas of business. This is a great way to grow your money with low risk because it ensured that one business sector, if one business sector was doing badly, the others could keep making money. The downside of this type of investing is that it offers low return rates. The percentage growth of the S&P 500, which is the most famous index fund, is currently 68% over five years. While this might not be exactly what you want, it does certainly offer safe investing. Well, there you have it. Now you know about index funds and what stocks are. Thanks for listening.